So let's chat about adding the GD&T symbols to a drawing. So the way I'm gonna do it, I'll go through and delete the symbol and then add it back in to show you how it's done. So first we'll delete this datum feature symbol and we'll add it back in. So this one is applied to a feature of size. In this case, this dimension, it applies to the axis. We don't put it on the axis. You end up just clicking on the dimension and you can pull it down here. When you go try to move it, it'll stay with that dimension. Okay, so it's not attached to the leader line or the extension line, it's attached to the dimension, right? So it could be a little tricky to move around we just want to keep it on the bottom for now. To change the letter, you just click on it and come over here to the letter. Always use capital letters, uh, A through Z, uh, except a, a couple, you don't use I and O and a couple other letters. Next, we'll do this datum for this sign. It should be applied to this surface. So this is what the datum is, this bottom surface. You don't apply it to the extension line, even though that's where it ends up going. I'm gonna click on this surface and then bring it up here. If you click on the extension line, it won't do quite the same thing. Then again, I'll go in here and change the letter to B. Okay. Next, we'll go through some of our feature control frames. So this one is run out, so say, I want to run out, I click up here to geometric tolerance, I choose the symbol, so I want circular run out, I'll choose the tolerance, two thousandths, and then the datum. So the primary datum is A, secondary datum is B, you can see it fill out down here. I'll click OK and it'll just drop it right here, I'll move it into position, and I can go ahead and delete this one. To get the leader line, we click on the feature control frame and we go over here and we just click leader, right? And it'll add a leader. We can choose the point on this arrow and drop it right on that line. Make sure you put it on the edge of the part, not the part itself. You want an arrow, not a filled in dot. So next we'll go to this perpendicularity tolerance. So same idea, geometric tolerance, choose the symbol. In this case, we want perpendicularity. We want a tolerance of 10 thousandths, and we want it to datum A, and that's all we need. So again, I'll click A, OK. And in this case, I'm just going to drop it on that leader. If you notice how it highlights blue, it'll just stick to that leader. I'll get rid of this one and move it up. Now, you can do this other ways. If you come over here, and hit leader, if you're running low on space, this is an acceptable method to have a leader pointing to an extension line, okay? So next, we've got a position tolerance attached to a dimension. So I'll delete that. The easiest way to do this is to click on the dimension and then go to geometric tolerance. We'll punch everything in. If you notice, it's gonna start filling in down here. So position, it was 10 thou. Now this is a little tricky to get the diameter symbol. We go up here and it'll put it right in here. You have to be in the tolerance box. If you're over here, you can't click on the diameter symbol right here. So in the tolerance box, 10 thousandths to A and B. And you got to remember that diameter symbol. This is how you add an MMC as well if you need it. Okay, so when I click OK, it's going to be stuck to this dimension. So when I move the dimension around, that will stay with it. Okay. Now for this one, this one's a little bit different because this is actually a note. Okay, so it's not a dimension. This is all just typed in. So then I have to just put underneath it. But we do it the exact same way. Geometric tolerance, position, 0 0.007. Remember to add the diameter symbol, A, B, secondary. Okay. Click OK. 
It'll drop it off down here. Just move it up. So that's how we added all the fe datum feature symbols and feature control frames to this drawing. Okay.